Yo, it's an air fry guy. You got some crazy ingredients going on here today. Um, yeah, gonna do my first ever cake, breaking in the old cake virginity. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure I remember what the actual weights of that were. Uh, but yeah, so it's got some caster sugar there, caster a sugar a. Um, yeah, that was 170 grams. Got a bit of vanilla essence. Got some um, yeah flour. I uh, can't remember if that's plain or self raising, but I guess we'll find out on that one. Got some eggs going down there, got some icing sugar, that's like, yeah, 70 grams of icing sugar. Got a few raspberries, um, yeah, gonna chuck a few raspberries in the old lemon drizzle cake, why not? Um, yeah, then obviously he's got four eggs, got some lemons, oi oi, how'd you like them lemons? Not like a pound shop version of Goodwill Hunting, why not? Um, yeah, got a bit of bicarbonate soda, last but not least, some muck margarine. Um, so yeah, let's get the show on the road. You're gonna have to start by, um, yeah, grating great these lemons. Let's see how that goes. Right, so I haven't got a lemon zester, so yeah, next best thing. Um, yeah, you're probably gonna be seeing a lot of alternatives, shall we say, in this video. Um, but yeah, so we're just seeing how it goes already. So let's grate this, uh, grate the lemon. Let's grate the lemon of life. This is a bit weird doing, I don't know if this is a proper lemon Great setting. It's quite noisy. It's like the air fry guy recording live from the kitchen. Doing some, um, yeah, let's get this zest off. Right, I'm gonna, yeah, skip past this bit when I've done the other lemon, basically. See in a bit. Breaking news, the lemons have officially been zested. Hopefully they're not gonna get all bitter about it. <laughs> um, right, so let's get on to the next step then, which... Yeah, it's pretty much just going to be getting all this stuff in the old muck mixing bowl. Um, yeah, from the recipe I saw. That was just, this was a recipe I saw on, um, yeah, on a, just a YouTube channel, someone doing it. But yeah, it was uh, seemed like a good recipe, so I thought let's give it a chicka chicka go. Right, let's start this journey on the old virgin cake making. So we just got a bit of sugar going in first. Sugar. Oh, a little bit left in the old cup there. Um, yeah, so next we're just going to chuck the old margarine in. Um, yeah, that was just normal margarine use. Um, yeah, just left it on the side for a bit to soften up. So let's get that mixed in with the sugar. Yeah, so this is going to take long to be fair because I haven't got one of those electric mixers. So I'm going to have to go old school. Um, yeah, just going to have to get all girl band about it. Give it a little mix. <laughs> I think that they're a girl band anyway, I don't really know to be fair. Um, but yeah, so basically just going to give this a mix now. See you in a minute. Let's get this DJ mixing on the go. Chick -a -chick -chur. Update alert. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. I don't know what I'm doing on this cake thing. Um, so yeah, that whisk was a bit rubbish to be fair. So I'm going to give it, try and give it a go with this and do it this way. Um, yeah, if not, I guess it's going to have to be... Get the old hands in. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be. Oh. Right, we're just gonna have to go for it. Give this all a mix in. <laughs> I'm looking at this thinking I'm pretty sure this was actually the first step. Surely it was. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try and get this mix in a bit and then hopefully that little plastic spatula thing will um, help a bit more. Looks like I'm making a blimmin' pizza here, doesn't it? Right. Oh, I'm going to just have to crack on, I'll see you in a minute. Right, so it's sort of getting somewhere, somewhere now. Um, yeah, I've mixed it all in by hand, so I'm just giving it a... Yeah, just a mix with this plastic spatula thing now. Uh, might go back to the whisk in a minute, to be fair. Um, see how that goes. But yeah, apologies to anyone who knows how to make a cake and likes making cakes and probably watching this thinking, what on earth are you doing? Um, but yeah, first attempt, so... Yeah, it's all about winging it sometimes, see how it goes. So now we are just going to wang in a table tablespoon of the old vanilla extract. Um, yeah, that's probably about a tablespoon. Bit of the old gastromation. So yeah, let's get that get that mixed round. Might bump the whisk out in a minute. It's looking a bit lumpy. Um, so yeah, it's going to whisk the rest of this. Start chucking some of the old eggs in. Right, so just going to do these eggs. Add them in one at a time. Um, as I saw in the old video, so let's go. Oh, <laughs> that was rubbish, it didn't even break. 
Oh. Right, I'm back. Got a little instrument to help me crack. Right, first egg going in. And one. Right, just going to give this a little whisk. And then in a minute, I'm just going to add the other eggs and do the same thing here. Add the egg, give it a quick whisk. Yeah, see how this, see how this turns out in a minute. Right, so I'll switch back to um, this thing again, because it's... Yeah, I think, I don't know if that, that even looks normal or if it's meant to be like that, but yeah. Next, next we're going to just chuck the old um, flour in. Got to do that Oasis style. Little by little. <laughs> um, right, so, no, scrap that. Forget what I just said. This is lemon zest time, actually. So, let's get this lemon zest in. Oh, this does smell proper lush, to be fair. My kitchen's going to be smelling well nice. And my cheese grater. Might have some lemon cheese going on for a while after this. Right, they are in. Let's mix that together. No, it's not Valentine's Day, but it is flower time. So yeah, just going to add this in, sort of bit by bit. And sort of mix it together as I'm adding it in already, I guess. Um, they make it look so much easier when people who are doing it actually know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep adding a bit of this, mixing this together. And yeah, see how this sort of turns out in a minute, really. See you in a momentous. So I just switched back to the whisk and then realised I have forgotten the um, baking powder. So yeah, let's just get that in there quickly. So yeah, this is just supposed to be half a tablespoon of um, baking powder. But... I'm doing this in one tray because I didn't, oh yeah, I haven't even, got, we haven't even got to that part yet. Um, yeah, I haven't got a small enough baking tray, so I'm just going to wang it all in uh, one basket, basically. So yeah, I think if I had a bit more of the bicarbonate soda, hopefully that will rise a bit and it won't be like too much of a flat cake. Um, but yeah, it's looking a bit weird, this mix. I don't know if it's meant to be like proper smooth slash runny. <laughs> I literally don't even know, but... Yeah, as always, we're just going to go for it and see what happens. Worst case scenario, it's a lesson, lesson learned in how not to bake slash make a cake. Um, so yeah, so now I reckon I'm going to actually switch back to the yeah rubber thing again now. So the raspberries are in. They've, um, yeah, I, was, I tipped them out the glass. I forgot to film that bit, but um, yeah, they come out as one clump. So hopefully they're going to spread out all right um, within the old mixture eh? but yeah let's get this uh let's get this party started let's get it in the air fryer um we've got a little makeshift yeah sort of cake tin on the go so yeah let's have a look at that check this out right bacon not <laughs> bacon tray what am i on about um yeah air fryer drawer ready to go so yeah it's basically got this um parchment paper I don't know if this is going to work at all, um, but yeah, hopefully it should be right because my air fryer's got that thing at the bottom um, where it sort of heats the heating element as well, but yeah, here we go, moment of truth. I'm so <laughs> stood here thinking should I have like greased up the side or yeah, I don't know, there's no going back now. This is how it's going to be with the AFG, short for the air fryer guy. <laughs> That's a bit of a rubbish self-made nickname to be fair. But yeah, so it looks like it might start leaking out of the parchment paper. I don't know what's going to happen if that happens. Um, hopefully it'll still be good to get out or whatever. Um, but yeah, so he's going to stick this in literally 150, 35 minutes. Let's rock and roll. Let's move this bit over a bit. Right, let's just get this in. Right, so this next part is a bit, um, yeah, just got to get, basically get the lemon juice out. I ain't got a lemon juice there, but I've got an, an idea, basically. Um, don't know if this is an actual hack or if it's just a random one I've just come up with, but watch this. Oh, hopefully we ain't going to get no pips in there, but let's give this a little go. In theory, this is what I'm basically thinking. Oh, 
Yeah, so this is, yeah, we've just got the lemon. Let's give it some of that. Oh, lemon juice is going everywhere a little bit, but that's pretty decent to be fair. Oh, that's better than I was expecting. Or oh, to be fair, probably just as good as I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if that is actually a thing or not. Um, but yeah, we could easily pick the, um, yeah, pick the pips out of that. If this isn't a thing, fair play, I've just invented like a mad hack, but yeah, let's give that a little juice in. Obviously you don't be doing it towards your face, you get like lemon juice in your eye. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do the other two bits. And yeah, it looks like we're gonna get loads of lemon juice out of this, to be fair. Mate, them lemons have been officially juiced to the max. Um, yeah, got a bit of lemon juice on the cutting board and the worktop, but um, yeah, it is what it is. It worked out all right there. You got some good, like, yeah, good amount of lemon juice out of that. So yeah, we're just gonna make, go mix that in with the, um, oh yeah, with the ice and sugar. Obviously, you just get that ready to go for the old drizzle part on the top. Um, with these, yeah, these little bits of zest there, I'm gonna chuck them on the top as well. Um, might just mix them in a bit actually with a bit of lemon juice before I clean that up. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but yeah, maybe a bad thing has gone a bit mushy. But yeah, hopefully it won't be um, yeah, it won't be too bad. Hopefully we can chuck it on the ice in. All good, all gravy. Yeah, so I'm not sure I should have um, <laughs> put them lemon zest things in the lemon juice but yeah hopefully they'll still spread on nice and all right at the end um yeah just a bit confused about this bit to be honest with the um yeah video i watched the woman didn't use all of the ice and sugar and obviously this is just for the bit where you make it like liquid like lemon sauce um yeah just pour it in um so yeah, i think i'm going to do that and i think i'm going to also do try and do like a normal yeah sort of icing as well on top uh, but yeah, <laughs> I haven't got a clue how that's going to go. That's if the cake is even good enough to be iced. Yeah, let's, um, yeah, just see how it goes. So yeah, so now we're going to basically, um, yeah, let's just give this a little, little mixture a try. See how this one, yeah, see how this one goes, I guess. So yeah, it's going to mix, obviously, the... Oh. I think I might have a bit too much here. Uh, well, I don't know, to be fair, I follow the recipe, so hopefully. And yeah, in the video, the woman only used like about half of the liquid, so yeah. I might have used a bit more than half there, so let's get this mixed and yeah, get it ready for the pourage of the cake. Right, so pretty much got the um, lemon sauce ready. This is proper full on knackering to be fair, to whisking this out. Um, yeah, that's the thing about this bacon, bacon malarkey so far. It's, um, yeah, it's much harder than it looked in the videos. I'm pretty knackered already to be fair. <laughs> that sounds proper lazy, but yeah, like, yeah, I've used so much different things. My kitchen looks battered, there's like flour and stuff everywhere. Everything smells of lemon now, so. Yeah, hashtag cake life. Big up to all the people who do this every day and all the people who love it. Um, yeah, probably gets probably get, gets easier the more you do it, I guess, or whatever. But yeah, so let's have a look at the cake, see how that's getting on. Right, so there's 12 minutes left on the um, on the air fryer. I'll try and get a good in window rec recipe in window view. Hashtag cake cam. Uh, but yeah, it was, yeah, I don't know if that's meant to be fluttering a bit like that on the top. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't dip into it and it just like oozes liquid or whatever. Hopefully I have made a cake, not like some like weird Japanese omelette. Uh, but yeah, guess we'll find out shortly. Right, so when this cake gets down to like, um, yeah, one minute, it's going to be go time. We're going to have a, have a look, check it out. Got, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stab it basically with a knife. I ain't got a yeah, bamboo skewer, <laughs> not bamboo skewer, what they called, um, kebab skewer, wooden kebab skewer, whatever. Yeah, I ain't got one of them, so I'm just gonna stab it with a knife and <laughs> see how that goes. Basically, don't know if we're gonna get a cake or a frittata. Let's find out. Right, so the cake is out, so now is the moment of truth, I guess. Let's try doing this first. I'll see a um thing on the internet just a minute ago it said a cake should be 
98 degrees fully cooked, but yeah, surely that's, <laughs> I'm sure it's not meant to be wobbling like that, to be fair. Oh, there's nothing on the end of it though. Yeah, I don't actually know if that's, is that cooked or not? Oh, I actually don't even know. There's a bit of cake coming off the end of there. Oh, I might have to do a bit of, yeah, let's have a, I'm going to have to just cut a little bit out, I think, just to get a bit of a gauge. Right, so we're now excavating, excavating the cake, basically. Um, just going to cut a little square out and just see if it's actually, yeah, actually, oh, no. <laughs> that is definitely not cooked. Um, yeah, I don't actually know what to do. That's like, oh, proper runny. Yeah, it's been in for all that time, but I'm sure that's not supposed to be happening. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it back in on a bit higher, I think, just for another like 10 minutes. Just to see if that actually does anything. Yeah, oh, I'm not going to taste that. It might be like weird with the egg, but yeah, let's get this back in and see what happens. Right, so basically I've just put it in for on 160 degrees this time um, for another 10 minutes. And <laughs> yeah, just see how that goes. Um, we could be, yeah, it could be cakeless. But yeah, someone, yeah, please tell me what I've done. <laughs> what I've done wrong on that one. Um, yeah, something ain't, ain't right there. Maybe I should have cooked it longer to begin with, maybe more than the 35 minutes. Um, but yeah, we'll find find out in a minute. Hopefully, it's a little blast. Might um, <laughs> might sort it out. I don't know if that's wishful thinking though. But yeah, see you on the other side. Right, so cake update time. Um, yeah, <laughs> put it back in for another ten minutes for 160. Um, yeah, it's getting late now. So officially, I have been beaten by cake. Uh, my first ever cake attempt has not gone well. Um, yeah, basically this is what's happened. Um, yeah, I don't know, I haven't got a clue what it is. Was it the raspberries? Was it too little time? Was it too low temperature? Was it all three? Feel free to drop a comment, let me know if you know which one it is. But yeah, look at the state of that. That is just completely battered, basically. Um, yeah, a bit gutted, because it's a good idea. Look, some of it looks good. Maybe it just needed more time but yeah it's getting getting late now it's time i ain't really got um but yeah give it a try anyway as always goes out goes um yeah to be fair though it's the first thing i've like yeah properly properly messed up so yeah it is what it is we learn and we live um yeah see you see you on the next one um obviously gonna try a different cake method again definitely gonna yeah order a small like loaf tray or whatever um hopefully that might make it a bit easier um, but yeah if you know what the hell i've done wrong with this feel free to let me know um as always have a good one it's the air fry guy um yeah thanks for watching feel free to drop a subscribe if you're not subscribed yet yeah see you on the next video for the next journey peace out